for some reason, the online price is not the same as in-store. Make it make sense, Alo. But first, you real dehydrated. <sighs> Nothing like water, I'm telling you. Hey loves, it's Avac on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. As you can tell from the title, today we're doing a little bit of a versus. Aloe versus Lulu. If you know me, you know I live in athleisure, so I'm so excited to share my opinions on these athletic wear companies. I've been living in Lulu for over a decade and I recently fell in love with aloe. So let's get into it. I have a lot to say. So I hope you guys grab a drink or a snack. You don't want to see the pile over here. Not to mention, I went a little crazy during the Aloeversary and Lulu's always got some good. So we're going to go through it all. I'm going to break it down into several parts. We're going to talk about price points, different products, sizing, functionality, feel, fabric, everything you need to know before you hit click to add to cart or before you head in the store. So let's go. Start from the bottom. That's the best way to tackle this. Going back to basics, my first introduction to Aloe was this. I got this bra, I don't remember what it's called, but Ed and Alicia will put everything in the description bar down below. And I absolutely fell in love with it. Not only is it in my perfect color, because you know I love me a good purple. This is smoky quartz, you can still catch a couple pieces online years later. But I love the back of this. Are you seeing this? I'm here for a good cross back situation. And as we get into this conversation, we're gonna compare and contrast what makes one thing better than the next. The reason why I love this is it has like the little padding inserts. If you're part of the itty bitty teeny bitty, you know it has this like mesh sheerness at the bottom that gives it a little extra. It's like the satin effect because it takes your athleisure to another level. Now if I was smart, I would have bought the matching leggings while they still sold it, but I didn't. Ever since then, You'll never catch me slipping. You'll always see me in a set like this. This is my signature look to the point where my neighbors are like, I didn't see you in your set today. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if I'm not heading out to take an Instagram pic or I'm not going to work, you're gonna see me in this. This is one of my first bras from Lululemon. I think this is the Free To Be Wild or Serene. I'll be surprised if I still remember that years later. I love this bra, extremely good quality. Some of the seams have come undone and one of the many strap laps have loosened which is not bad, because like I said, I must have had this for at least a decade now, and it hasn't faded. It has the padding in the inside as well, and it is a short line, which is not really my vibe anymore, so I usually wear this under something else, but we'll get into that as we get into that. I just wanted to compare just the bras off the top. The reason why I vibe so much with aloe is that they keep it original and fresh. One thing I love about Lulu is their classic, but one thing I hate about Lulu is their classic. This bra and this rendition of the bra has been recycled since the beginning of time. I've seen it in every colorway that ever existed. If you're someone like me who lives in athleisure and is always looking for something fresh and fun, Aloe wins in this category because they always have something different on their site. Next up, the challenge of cover-ups. Now these are not the same cover-ups because I wouldn't buy the exact same thing from two different brands. This is a wrap top from Aloe, which has been sold out, but if it comes back in stock, I will link it down below. This is something that I wear several times a month. Anytime I need to run an errand, if I'm wearing an athleisure set, I want to go to the grocery store, if I want to hang out with a friend and I don't feel like dressing up, this makes me look put together. I've never actually worn this to work out, although I've worn this out out. But it is a piece that's super lightweight fabric. I wish they made more things in this fabric that is very versatile and very functional, which is very important when it comes to your athleisure. It's not just look cute in. Sometimes you need to really crank out those core sessions or those reps, and you wanna make sure you're throwing on something that allows you to sweat. This right here is the ever so popular Define jacket. Most people buy it in the Align fabric, which mm -mm, we're gonna get to that when we get to that. I got this in the Nuon or New Lux, because I know they have Luon, New Lux, Everlux, Lux Stream. They got a lot of different fabrics, so stick with me. But I got in the fabric the what did I say? New Lux. You can get it with the hood or without the hoods. You can get it with the zipper being this gray gunmetal color, or you can get one with the white one, which. When I bought this, I didn't have the option because I'm not really a silver girl. I didn't know what this was for the longest time. 
But I realize that if you actually like to run in your jacket, because I don't, I stay running errands in this jacket, then at least you can breathe. I mean, if you have a sweaty back or if you've worn this to Pilates or a yoga session and you feel a little, mm -hmm, I prefer to shower before I go on the subway, but hey, to each their own. You can just throw this on and you feel put together. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. This one's gonna be fun. The Battle of the Biker Shorts. Let me switch them out so that we keep consistent with the aloe over here and the lulu over here. So this is the aloe, no, no, wait, before I get into this, which one do you think is my favorite pick? Is it my favorite color purple or is it this beautiful creamsicle? I'll wait. Here, I'll give you a little bit of a hint. Fabric goes a long way. If you guessed this one, you guessed right, and I'm gonna get into it after I break down why this one was a no-go. So I bought this instantly because I was obsessed with the color, and aloe never disappoints until now. This fabric, I don't know if it's because it's ribbed, I don't know because it's whatever, but it's ribbed and rigid. It's very stiff, which is good because it keeps you sucked in and snatched, but it's almost to the point where it feels like you have like a very stiff material on. I usually prefer wearing aloe for my yoga sessions or my day to day, and I prefer to really crank out the reps when I wear my Lululemon. Like, I don't know why, I've just always had it like that in my mind. I don't really wear this doing yoga. This is a little disappointing. I can't really wear it for my flexibility flow because it really is irritating to the body. But if you want to get a quick sesh out, do some cardio in the gym, this keeps you set and ready to go. This cuts in a little bit, which is why I don't like wearing it when I'm doing yoga because I really want to tap into the present moment and not feel my clothes. And that's why this one wins because I feel nakey, nakey, nakey. These are in the aligned fabric that I mentioned a lot of defined jackets come in. The reason why I love to hate this fabric is it's so soft and supple. Now that sounds like a compliment, because it is, but here's where you get the flip. Because it's so soft, I've seen so many people complain about the pilling in this. And I might not be able to see pilling, but when I run my hand on my pants and I feel it, it annoys me so much. When you pay so much, and we're gonna get to price in a second. But when you pay so much, pilling should just not even be a thought. So I am terrified, but I've worn these many times and I don't have a single pill. They've also not faded, which you'll see as we go through, I'm more a pastel neutral tone, and that is for wearability. I stay wearing neutrals, but more importantly, when you spend so much on a piece, you want it to look as pristine as when you first purchased it. I find when you buy dark colors or neons, they fade quite a bit, leaving them looking dull and dingy. This, luckily, didn't do that because I would have been devastated. These were 60 Canadian dollars, I believe. And these, Lord, I hope my mom's not watching because she's gonna cuss me off good. These were 90. I ordered these online, so after duties and taxes, for some reason, the online price is not the same as in-store. Make it make sense, Alo. Then this was, I think, 100 if I remember right, and this was 75. Why are the bras more expensive than the bottoms? I wanna know, inquiring minds wanna know. But this bra right here, forgive me, I don't remember the name, but I loved it enough that I got two of them, is a long line bra. It almost is reminding me of the energy bra because it has the double strap back, but it doesn't have the removal padding, which I love. It actually makes it more seamless. I find the more you wash a bra, the more the padding gets warped. But the many times I've washed this, it remains intact. Lululemon Aloe, both A1, A++++++ for quality. Making sure your stuff lasts in the washing machine. You don't have to worry about that. I don't even want to get into some of the other athleisure brands, but if you want a video, I can do a breakdown of some other brands that I can't say the same about. The greatest thing about Lululemon I should mention is that they specify what each bra is meant to do and who it's meant for too. I haven't quite seen that on Aloe, and I'm the type of person I will read the details, the fabric and fit, and the reviews to make sure I'm getting what I think I'm getting. With this one right here, this one is for A to B, but they have similar bras that are meant for C to double D. So depending on how much support you need, you can definitely see clearly because they put it right where the name is. Lulu, you got this round. <laughs> this next challenge is gonna be two to one. It's gonna make sense in a second. But first up is these. These are the Aloe Airlift leggings. I think these are the full lengths. 
versus the Lululemon Luxtreme 7 8 Okay, let's talk about length first of all. You can get these in the 7 8 as well. And after I bought these, I've only ever bought 7 8 ever again. I prefer the 7 8 Just like with the biker shorts, the longer the better. I wanna know, are you a seven, five, or three when it comes to the biker shorts? Threes are a little too cheeky for me, so I like to stay around the five or seven. But seven, eights when it comes to the leggings. I bet you can already tell who wins this challenge. It's a very close one, I'd almost say a tie. The only reason why I'm gonna give Lulu the win in this round is there's something about Luxstream, guys, I cannot lie. I have four or five pairs of Luxstream alone. I went in the store to go get a pair of Luxstreams last year and they're like, we don't have that. I mean, wait, what, what do you mean? You don't have it anymore? They discontinued it for a little bit. Thank God they brought it right back. This is the ultimate. If you want sweat wicking, because I know a lot of times they say sweat wicking. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you some fabrics that say they are but aren't. This right here, is your perfect gym gear, okay? Not only do you wash it a million one times and it doesn't hold a smell, it does not pill. It takes a very, very long time to fade. The only reason why these fade is because I've had them for over 10 years, okay? The seaming and stitching has been ultimate. Not a stitch out of sight, which I can't say for some other things I'm gonna show you. And most importantly, it's not too tight. A lot of times I find with this type of fabric, you feel like you're restricted and you can't really do what needs to get done. This is perfect for everything from a good gym session to a yoga flow to Pilates, which I don't even know why I bother with Pilates. Don't play with Pilates, okay? If you like it, I love it. This is my everyday yoga pant. I just feel like this is the ultimate and nothing can top this. Whew, that was a mouthful. Close contender though are these. As I mentioned, these are the Air Lift leggings from Aloe. They are my favorite leggings from Aloe, but they're still number two to you know who. They're very similar in their engineering. Wow, that's so technical. What I mean to say is the way these feel, you can tell they'll never pill. They haven't snagged, which is a thing I'm always concerned about. They have faded quite a bit, and I've only had these for about a year. Pause. Let's talk about warranty. One thing you need to know is Lululemon stands behind their ish 10 toes down. When I was in uni, I had those big dutty bags. You know those duffel bags everyone used to have back in the day. I must have returned them twice because one had a hole in it and the other one, the strap was messed up. Took it back, no problem. Even with other things, I've overheard people returning leggings or they do free hemmings. Like, that's how you know a company that really invests and believes in their product is willing to take back something defective or allow you to get a new version of something because they know it's gonna last the test of time. They also have this thing where they create clothes with the intention of it lasting 10 years. And I mean, some of these pieces I've had for more than 15 years, so they really stand by that. Aloe, like I said, I haven't been purchasing as long. Some of the things look as new as the day I bought them. Other things like this, can't say the same about. I emailed them and they said, oh, it's past the warranty. I think their warranty is two to three months, which still isn't bad, because at the end of the day, this is closed. It's not like tech where you really buy a warranty. It's just nice to know there's companies out there that really stand behind their product. So with these airlift leggings, love, 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 love them. Don't they make your legs look good? Legs for days, okay? I love the sheen. It's faded a little bit, but I mean, it still looks so luxurious. This fabric in any color, luxury wear. You can wear this to the gym. I prefer to do yoga sessions with this. You can also run errands with it. If I didn't buy part two, then I'd probably wear this set out a lot more than I do. So this right here is the Airlift Intrigue Bra, which I love, but I also don't. And it's just a me thing. I prefer a bra that has a tiny bit of padding and this has zilch, zero nada. Every time I see a new color pop up, snatched up, sold out. Unless you put a top on top, you're really out there with this one, which is fine if you're just trying to focus and get a workout session. But if you were to use this like I do, which is like my grocery shopping or going to a cafe type of clothes as well, this one just stays inside. Without the padding and with the pretty cross back, it's still a beautiful bra. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how many pieces I pulled out. I can't show you them all right now. Next up, this is not a set, because one is aloe and one is Lulu, but 
But these two are aloe, so I'm gonna bring it to you. This is the first set I ordered from aloe, so it's near and dear to my heart. The colors don't quite match, which I can't say the same for Lululemon, because you can buy something from a line, you can buy something from New Lux, you can buy something from Lux Stream, and the math is gonna math, they're gonna match. Lululemon versus aloe, so Lululemon gets a point for that, but aloe is still pretty close, and it's pretty enough that I don't mind, but I just have to let you know, because that's the case with this set, and this set. They're just a tiny bit off, but not enough that you would notice in the vlogs. It's just something that I noticed when I purchased it. I've returned this set because of it, because it was like two different shades of whatever going on. But for the most part, the colors are pretty spot on. Lulu though, their colors never miss. Now to compare another kind of fabric. This is the Airbrush from Aloe, and this is I want to say, oh my gosh, I can't remember what these are because I got them back back in the day. They're not Luxstream, but they feel like Luxstream and they're also double lined. So that's another thing. These are both, their thicker leggings. These are double lined because they're white. Whereas these are just thicker to be thicker. That's why I prefer the airlift over the airbrush. And these are more of my run around the house, run around doing hair, this type of leggings or yoga. This pair, I was like, you know what? I'm not buying these anymore. I saw a white one on sale last week and I said, nope, nope, don't love it that much. Pushing up and talking about a different fabric. This bra is in the Owl Soft fabric, which really is the namesake because this is heavenly soft. So if you prefer something that is gonna be really supple, kind of like the Align, this is your match. I wouldn't say that's pilling as much as just I've had these for two years now, so I mean, I'm not gonna complain. It looks pretty good. The mesh still looks really good, so you know what? I'd say comparing a line to Alosa, they're on the same par. I haven't had my line pill on me yet though, so I don't think this fabric has a name. It's not quite as soft as Alosoft, but it's not as stiff as their airbrush. This bra though, the whole thing I'm telling you guys about when it comes to versatility, this is versatility in a bra top. How many ways can you wear this bra? I think of five ways. If you can think of more ways, let a girl know because I want to get every pretty penny. This was $120, guys, but I mean, it's a vibe. It is a vibe and because it's so versatile, I think it's worth it. And if you can get it on sale, I mean, why not? It comes in a couple colors. I went with the classic crisp white and I love it paired with these leggings. These are racer leggings. They have so many different pockets to zip. They have the side pockets here, which I'm always here for because I can put my phone in it and my keys and anything else I need to bring with me, lip gloss, whatever, I'm good to go. And they are also, surprise, surprise, seven eights. They also have like the, I think they're called laser cut. Is this fair? I think this is fair. We're gonna do this duo from Aloe versus this set from Lulu. So this right here is again, that same silky shiny Aloe airlift fabric that I'm obsessed with. It is so, so beautiful in this dusty pink shade. I wear this all the time. I don't work out in this that much because I wanna preserve it, especially after I saw how fast the sheen of the cranberry one came off. I was like, let me not play with this one. They're in the same size, but this is in the seventh eighth, which I prefer. I like a little ankle to peekaboo. And I've got this matching top. This is called the Real Bra Tank. This is my everyday top. I must have worn this in I don't know how many vlogs by now. You guys are probably sick of seeing this set. But it's just so beautiful. It has a little crop so that you have just a little bit showing but not enough where you feel like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't wear this anywhere outside of working out. And it's not too deep of a V where you feel like you're giving everyone a free show. The same bra that I showed you in the cream silk color in this beautiful Java. This cocoa color, mm, 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 mm. absolutely adore, which is why I got this bra in two colors. As I mentioned, Lululemon doesn't switch it up nearly as much as I'd like them to, so when I find a bra design that I like, I get to. No noise art. These are a different material that I haven't shown you yet, similar to Luxstream, but not quite. This is Everlux, which is more compressive. 
I got these in the same size as I got my lines, as I got my new Lux, and that is a mistake. You need to up a level with these ones, okay? Do you see how much smaller they are? Let me compare. Wow, I look so tiny. Am I that tiny, guys? That's crazy. Then we have, <laughs> this is sickening. Oh my gosh, are you seeing that? It may not look like much, Are you, are you, are you seeing this? I think that's a lot. That's like a whole different pant size. So when I first put these on, I was like, oh, oh. Like, there is too many different sizes after this size for me to be struggling with this. But then I went to the store and they were sold out. It was the last pair. So I thought, you know what? Charge to the game. I spoke to the girl and she's like, yeah, you didn't know Everlux came smaller. I'm like, no, nope. I know it's a compressive, but this is in distress. This is like, shapewear type of tight but the more you wear it the more you get comfortable with how tight it is so it doesn't bother me as much i'm used to it i just have to mentally prepare before i wear i love the side pockets very versatile these ones i've only worn to the gym once but i've worn around the house and around the neighborhood too many times to admit they haven't faded that much just a tiny tiny bit which i kind of expected with this really rich cocoa shade so it's not really so much a negative thing. It's kind of just like expected, if you know what I'm saying. And the color, pretty spot on for being from two different lines of fabrics. In this case, I say it's a tie. Honestly, I can't say one or the other. The only reason why I prefer this is because I'm not really a pink, pink girl, but this makes me want to be a pink girl. The colors don't match though. Just like what I said, and I can't even be mad at them because this is matte and this is sheen. So I mean, what do you expect? I still have more stuff to show. You know what? We're gonna leave that for another day because I want to get into the Alliversary haul. Before we do, I want to do a run through so far of what we've gone through. So price points, when it's aloe versus lulu, the prices are relatively the same depending on the material you're buying or the length in some cases, but do expect to pay, I would say 20 to $50, which sounds crazy for aloe, but it's a point of preference. Do you want versatility? Do you want different styles? Do you want, I don't know what you want. It really depends because I don't, I'm kind of wondering why is it that much more expensive? Next category, functionality. As far as wearing it from the street to the studio to going out, I think depending what pieces you get, both are on par. When it comes to color options, I think Aloe does drops every Tuesday, as does Lulu, but Lulu will sometimes do repeats of their colors, whereas Aloe tries to do a new colorway at least twice a month. Sizing, I feel like I mentioned this already, but if I haven't, Aloe goes from double extra small, extra small to double extra large. Lulu from zero to 14. Fabric, I think is on par. I haven't had bad experiences with a line. That would be the only thing that I might have to check in with at another time. You can get comparable fabrics from each brand. Style, functionality, versatility. Aloe wins hands down. If you want something different, Aloe's your girl. If you want something classic and timeless, Lulu's where it's at. And most importantly, because after all, the first part of athleisure is the athletic part, functionality. I would say it really does depend. Aloe is a yoga first brand, which is why a lot of their fabrics do lend towards flexibility and function in that sense. That one biker set I showed you though, that's a no-go. Lululemon is also a yoga forward brand, but I feel like they moved into other modalities of movement faster than other luxury or high-end workout clothes. I find Lululem to be more technical, even the way they describe and they tell you what is this made for? Is it for the gym? Is it for training? Is it for yoga? Is it for going out? I really like that part of their site and even how they sell in the store. Wrapping it up with what I got recently from the Alloversary. I'm happy that they have a home base here and they're opening up more stores so I get to see the colors in living color. That sounded weird, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm happy to see the colors in real life is because the matchy, matchy, matchy-ish. There's this. I have been looking for a coral set for at least four years. At least. Don't ask. Sometimes I just have a color pop in my mind. I'm like, I really like a cream colored dress. That's a horrible example because the amount of cream colored dresses I have, it's giving hoarder. I to try a really bright neon in coral. And as you can see, another real tank bra. 
Then I also got this bra because I figured if I'm working out, I'll be okay to wear this. You know how I feel about the short versus long line. The back was very interesting to me. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. It's ribbed, but it's not ribbed and rigid like the other ribbed one I showed you. So surprise, surprise. I got the Airlift 7 8 to match. I also picked up two other things. Finally got my first pair of Airlift bikers. I was looking for them in white, but they don't make that. I guess because it'd be sheer or see-through. But these, this material in white, it's a wrap. Especially with that wrap top I showed you. Ooh. And I got another throw on top. Sometimes you do want to run errands and not feel like you're showing at all. So I got this. I don't know how I feel about that back. I think this is gonna have to grow on me. The girl in the store says she wears it sometimes front to back, back to front. That whole style that the cutout is really in, but um, I was looking to exchange this for the wrap top in black. They sold out of that. The thing that I, whoops, is a aloe yoga strap. I've been wanting one of these for three years now. This is the duality strap, and it has a little stretch and give. As flexible as I've become, I still got a long way to go. Manduka one I bought. I love Manduka, but that strap, highway robbery for that. This is such a pretty color. Like I said, I was never into pink before that set that I showed you, so this. This is so out of my element, but I'm here for it. So that wraps up this video. I hope that I gave you guys enough to make an informed decision the next time you decide to shop at Aloe or Lulu, because if you don't have all the coins to waste to spend at both places, Maybe there's a color drop or something you want to purchase for a particular reason. I hope something I said informs you on your next buy. So let me know down below which brand you prefer or which set's your favorite. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love you later.